Hi, I'm Surai Freire and welcome to Story SD, episode number 132. Have you ever thought about what monsters have to go through in their lives? Welcome to Story SD, helping you use storytelling in your communication strategy. Explore other resources at storysd.com. And now, here is your host, Dr. Soraya Ferreira, story strategy consultant and trainer. In 2015, I saw this article with pictures from an artist called Theo. And in the pictures, you can see a lot of monsters dealing with their issues. The challenge of the artist was to put ourselves in the shoes of these monsters. Immediately, you don't think about having empathy with the monsters, but if you think about it, you can, um, it's not um, hard for you to discover that they too have several issues like all of us. For example, you can see Godzilla, and what Godzilla is saying is in the picture is that he hates more than architecture. So immediately think about a building that doesn't have anywhere for him to grab, so he cannot conquer the cities like he's used to. In another picture, you are seeing uh, the Loch Ness monster. And what is the monster saying? He's saying that he doesn't uh, look good in pictures. And we all know that it's true, because we can never have a picture where we can see him clearly. And another example of um, a picture that I really enjoy is Medusa. So we are seeing all the snakes uh, of her hair and she's complaining that it's very hard for her to go to the hairdresser. And we are thinking, yes, she's completely right, because if someone looks at the hair, they will turn into stone. So uh, in these pictures, we are seeing the story and we are seeing the moment of conflict. And uh, if you go online, search for it and you will be able to see other funny pictures. Standing on the shoulder of giants. The recommended resource for this episode is the LinkedIn course, Leading with Stories by Paul A. Smith. I had already read the book Living with Stories, so this course was more of a revision for me. And one of the concepts that I took from this course has to do with memory consolidation. So Paul said that uh, human memories aren't formed in our heads like a digital camera takes a picture. Uh, they are formed like old-fashioned film. It takes a while to develop. In fact, it takes two or three minutes after something happens for it to fully form in your memory. That period of time is called memory consolidation. So here he was talking about why it's important for us to use uh, stories. These three episodes were about telling stories in a single image. In the next episode, uh, I'm going to start breaking down several ads. Until then, keep moving forward. Thank you for tuning into Story SD. Sign up to the newsletter today and be the first to receive updates at storysd.com.